Hello beautiful manifestors, it is Olivia Grace and I am back with another video and today I am talking about the seven day challenge that I did um, where I tried to stop consciously manifesting for a week and I wanted to discuss uh, just what happened with that and what my experience with that is. Um, and first, why would I even do that? I mean, like, why why would anyone stop consciously manifesting after you know about this amazing power that we have? And um, now manifesting can be, it can get overwhelming, just being honest with you guys. You know, it can be like really realizing like, wow, I'm the God of my reality. I can create any little thing that I want anytime I want to. It can be a lot of pressure on a person, you know, and it, it could be so, I know for me personally, I just think of everything that I'm like, okay, I want to change this. I want this to go like this. I want this to go like that. You know, I have um, a little bit of controllingness in me in some in some ways. I mean, I'm not controlling in some ways, but in some ways I am uh, when it comes to my reality and results that I expect or things that I want to happen. I'm definitely a little controlling with that. Um, so I wanted to just kind of take that pressure off myself and also allowing, kind of allowing the universe to just bring what it wants to bring to me or, you know, and just seeing what happens from that. Um, so first of all, I just want to say, y'all, it was so difficult for me. Like when I tell you guys manifesting for me is like, it's autopilot, like it's like if something is something something's happening or you know something goes wrong then i immediately am just like oh well here's how i want it to go and i immediately start giving attention to that i immediately go into creating and that was the first thing that i noticed was like wow i did not realize how much i actually manifest just on a day-to-day -day basis consciously how much i'm literally always like directing my thoughts directing my right my reality how i'm always kind of wanting things to go a certain way um so that was the first thing that i noticed um the second thing that i noticed was that i did feel less pressure on me i did feel kind of a relief because something would happen like i was actually having problems with my car i've been having issues with my car for like a month now and it was just all basically just kind of getting worse and worse and worse um and it like it honestly led me you guys to stop the challenge i'm not even gonna lie to you guys because i did not complete the challenge of um you know not consciously manifesting because i mean now like i like i was saying though it does take the pressure off because when anything goes wrong initially i'm feeling like okay now it's my responsibility to make this go right right so that i would notice that in my thought process something would go wrong or something would happen that i wouldn't like immediately i would be like okay well here's how i want it to go or here's how it should go and then i'd be like oh wait i don't have to do it i'm leaving it up to the universe to do this for me right now back to what i was saying which is that i did quit the challenge because I was going through so much contrast, you guys, with my um, with my car, and I just, you know, with something like a car, it was at it was at a point to where either my car was going to get totaled or I was going to have to pay a lot of money to get it fixed, and I just did not, honestly, I did not feel comfortable just like oh, let it be what it be, you know, because it it honestly it didn't seem like it was working out for me. <laughs> Maybe it was, you know, the universe works in mysterious ways, but it just did not feel good to me and i had to just go ahead and hop back in the driver's seat and just direct it how i want to go and now my car is getting fixed so um and you know but something that really did happen from this challenge for me was that i realized how much i really like having control over my reality how much i really like you know being able to say how i want things to go having faith in myself having faith in the universe you know and being able to kind of direct things because I mean, once you know these, once you know this stuff, you guys, you can't unknow it. You know, it's been a while for me where, I mean, honestly, you guys, I haven't lately, I haven't felt as connected to manifesting as I felt in the past. And that's literally like crazy for me, because as soon as I learned about manifesting, me and manifesting were like this. It was it was over with from day one. And um, but I had really been feeling and giving into that pressure that I was talking about earlier um, in the video and had just put so much excess of pressure on myself to manifest perfectly and to manifest in the most miraculous way ever and to make everything happen. Per I mean, it was just too much. And I felt myself kind of drifting 
from that. So it was kind of perfect for me to like, all right, let me just give this up for just a week and just see what happens. But as I said, it woke me back up to my powerful self. It woke me back up to here's why I like manifesting. Here's why I like, you know, being able to direct my reality. And it really just opened me up to another level of power, honestly, you guys, because I really now I'm manifesting without the pressure. There is no need to put pressure on yourself. The universe has all the means, whatever is needed, whatever is necessary, the plan, the whatever. It has all of that ready for you to create whatever it is that you choose to create. But you know, you have to choose. I mean, you don't have to choose. You can just go with the flow or go with whatever. Um, but for me personally, I like to choose. I want to choose how it's going to go. I want to choose what I'm going to experience and allow for the universe to make that happen. Okay. So there's the distinction there. There's a difference between, okay, not only do I have to choose what I want to create, but I also have to figure out how to create that. But there's a difference between that and, okay, I can choose what I want to create, but the universe can go ahead and take that take it from here and I'm not the one that has to force this thing to happen or to bang it into place um, so because of that like I said you guys I have now been into back into my more powerful self back into just assuming that my wish is fulfilled and really just moving on from there you know anytime it comes up in my brain I frame it in the way that I would like it to be and go on about that and I really haven't been feeling any pressure um so I'm not even gonna lie to you guys I I big f a big f minus for me <laughs> for this challenge y'all and of course I love manifestation I did honestly think that I could do it though I did think like oh yeah you know I can because I've done it before and it was hard then too but I don't know. I like being powerful. What can I say? You know, so um, that was my seven day challenge that I did last week. So this week, you guys, I am doing a seven day challenge. Um, I told you guys I'm going to be doing these weekly um, and I'm open to suggestions, you guys. So if you guys have a manifestation technique, a certain meditation, anything to do with like spiritual stuff, I don't know, even like a spell, I don't know, whatever, something you want me to try for like seven days, I will do it. Let me know in the comments. Um, and like and subscribe too if you watched this far, if you're catching this on YouTube. And um, but the seven day challenge that I'm going to do now is the 369 method. This method is like, I don't know, going viral again. I learned about this method back when I first began manifesting. Um, and so, yeah, but I haven't done it since then because if you guys have been, you know, following my videos and things, y'all know me, I like to do things in the more, you know, the most effortless way. And for me, having to script three different times a day is just too much. Um, but, and I was misinformed though. I thought it was like 30, 60, 90, but it's just three, six and nine. So I'm like, that's fine. I can do that. Um, so anyways, I will be doing that for an iPhone. So we'll see at the end of the seven days if I have an iPhone or not or whatever. Um, but anyways, you guys, I love you guys. You're amazing. You can do anything. You can have anything. You deserve it. I love you guys. and I'll see y'all in the next video.